and praise the Lord everyone. Welcome to our online Sunday school. I am teacher Edith. Hello, I am Mr. Gashish. Hi, I am teacher Sheena. Hello, I am teacher Arti. Before we begin our program for today, let's pray. Dear Lord, thank you for today. I commit this uh, Sunday school program into your mighty and loving hands. Let your spirit guide us and be with each one of us watching. In Jesus name I pray. Amen. 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 Now let us sing some songs. Yes, I'm excited. Me too. And the name of the song which we're going to sing is Look what the Lord has done. Look what the Lord has done. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look what the Lord has done. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He heals my body. He touched my mind. He saves me just in time. I'm going to praise His name. Yeah, yeah, yeah. His name is just the same. Yeah, yeah. Come on and praise Him, look what the Lord has done. Look what the Lord has done, yeah, yeah, yeah. Look what the Lord has done, yeah, yeah, yeah. He heals my body, He touched my mind. He saves me just in time. I'm gonna praise His name, yeah, yeah, yeah. His name is just the same, yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on and praise Him, look what the Lord has done. Come on and praise Him, look what the Lord has done. Wow, that was a nice song. Let's sing another one. And see how Moses crossed the Red Sea. How did Moses cross the Red Sea? How did Moses cross the Red Sea? How did Moses cross the Red Sea? How did he get across? Did he swim? No, no. Did he fly? No, no. Did he sail? No, 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 no. Did he walk? No, no. Did he run? No, no. How did he get across? God blew with his wing. Puff, 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 puff. And he blew just enough, 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 enough. And through the sea, he made a path, that's how he got across. Wow, that was fun. Now it is time to learn from the Bible. Today, we will learn about Miriam. This is found in Exodus chapter 1, 2, and 15 in the Bible. There was once a cruel king in Egypt long, long time ago, and he gave a terrible order. The order was to throw all the Israelite baby boys into the river Nile to die. But there was one Israelite mother who hid her baby boy for three months. The baby's name was Moses. Now she cannot hide him anymore, so she made a basket from reeds and slime. Then she puts Moses into the basket and puts it into the river where the king's daughter bathed. And the mother tells Miriam. Miriam, go and hide and watch. Yes, mother. After some time, the daughter of the king of Egypt, princess, came to bathe there and saw the basket. When the princess opened the basket lid, she found baby Moses and decided to make him her son. Miriam went to the princess and asked, Shall I call a Hebrew woman to nurse the baby? Yes, please. Go look for a Hebrew woman. So Miriam ran home as fast as she can and called her mother, who, took after, who looked after Moses until he was old. Then the mother took Moses to the princess. Though Moses grew up as an Egyptian prince, he never forgot God who saved him. God helped Moses to free the Israelites from the king of Egypt by parting the Red Sea. Once all the people were safely over, God brought the waters of Red Sea back and all the king's men and horses who were chasing the Israelites died. After crossing the Red Sea, Miriam began to sing and dance, worshipping God for delivering her people from slavery. She took a tambourine in her hand and the woman followed her with the tambourines and dancing and Miriam sang to them. I will sing unto the Lord for he is trying gloriously the horse and the rider thrown into the sea. I will sing unto the Lord, for He has triumphed over the sea. The horse and the rider thrown into the sea. The Lord, my God, my strength, my soul, has now become my victory. The Lord, my God, my strength, my soul, has now become my victory. The Lord is God, and I will praise Him, my Father's God. 
got it. I will exalt him. The Lord is God. I will praise him. My father is God. I will exalt him. Miriam, even though she was a small girl, was used by God to save her baby brother Moses. She was brave and a good elder sister. She had courage. As an adult, Miriam was a prophetess who helped her brother Moses and Aaron to lead the Israelites. She thanked God for all the blessing as well as trials. So just like Miriam, God used Miriam, He can also use you and me. And if we believe in our hearts and accept Jesus as our Lord and Savior, He will come and help us. So if you want to believe and trust on Him, please pray this prayer after me. Thank you, Jesus. I pray and invite you into my lives. I pray that you be with me, help me and guide me. Forgive me from all my sins. Be with me and help me and guide me. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. In our story, we learn that no matter the age, we all can praise and serve God like Miriam did. So, Teacher Arti, what is our memory verse for today? Our memory verse for today is from Exodus chapter 15, verse 21. Sing to the Lord, for He is highly exalted. Both horse and driver He has hurled into the sea. This is what Miriam said, like we saw in our story, when um, all the Israelites, they crossed the Red Sea. Miriam, she was so happy, she danced for joy. And this is what she, was, she said. She was exalting the Lord, praising God. And we should praise God in everything we do. And for our and craft today, we will make a tambourine. Yes. yes! And for this, we will require paper plates, scissors, bread, ribbons, and strings, and pencil pen and paper punch, and some crayons and pencil. I'm excited to make the tambourine, Teacher Sheena. So let's start by writing the memory verse on the middle of the paper plate. We can use the markers. So let's write our memory verse. I like color pink. Do you? Yes. So our memory verse is Sing to, to the Lord. The, I'll change the colors now, Teacher Shino. Okay, Teacher Just to make it more, more brighter. To the Lord. Color now. Highly exalted. Boat driver and the horse he hurled in the sea. Exodus 15 verse 21 After writing the memory verse, now let us decorate the paper plates with the crayons. Okay, so I will decorate it. Teacher Arti, while you are decorating the paper plates, I will tie the buttons, bells and shells with the string. Yes, I will decorate while you tie those. So let's just color the plates all around to make it look nice. You can use different types of crayons okay so now that I have decorated it it looks very colorful right teacher Shino? yes it does and after putting the bells and braids in the string it looks something like this yes it looks so nice can I have the pencil please yes, thank you so now we make holes around that uh, plate so we can punch it with the paper punch. So mark it on the paper plate so it's easy. Okay, so with the paper punch, if you need help, please ask someone who is older than you who can help you. And just only one side, don't put both together, just one edge. So your ribbons are ready, Teacher Shina? Yes, Teacher. Okay, I'm almost done. See how it turns out. So am I. This is the first time I'm making a tambourine. How about you? Thank you, teacher. Okay, so you can see the holes. Let's tie the ribbons now. I can help you with that. Yes, teacher. It will be a very colorful tambourine, I suppose. Sure seems like. 
So you put the string through the hole. Yes. And then you tie a knot. Yes, and you can then cut the remaining string off. So after you've tied it, you trim the extra bits of ropes off so that it looks nice. Okay, so after trimming off the extra bits, we will add some ribbons into it. Yes, just to make it more attractive, use colourful ribbons and just weave it through the holes. So this is our tambourine. Yeah. And it makes noise. Yay. So cool, eh? Yes, teacher. It looks so, you, so nice. So you can make a tambourine like this, right? To memory verse in the uh, in the middle. You can also paint it or color it how you like. And then you can um, learn the memory verse and even play with this. As you can see, it makes noise, makes music. Let's sing another song before we go. And the song is Come Along, Come Along. Come Along to Sunday School. Come along, come along, come along. Let's you come along to Sunday school. Come along, come along, come along. Won't you come along to Sunday school? It's for boys and girls. It's for moms and dads. Hallelujah. Come along, come along, come along. Won't you come along to Sunday school? Yes, so we invite you all to our Sunday school. Now we have come to the end of our program. We hope you have liked our program for today and have learned something new. Yes, and don't forget to learn your memory verse and send in your videos. See you all next time. God bless you all. Bye! Bye.